have those moments in life where you do some of the dumbest things without even thinking about it? I had that moment yesterday, but it almost seemed like I'm having that moment every day. Why? I don't know. I bought a inflatable swimming pool for my little girls. All right, because I believe they need to learn how to swim. Um, you know, I didn't grow up swimming, you know, so I bought a swimming pool. Which, by the way, guys, went absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Like... <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I decided to deflate this swimming pool with at least 30 gallons of water. Maybe 30, I don't know. Here's the problem, okay? I placed the pool close to the house and I didn't realize if I released the water too fast, it will rush towards the house. Now, here's the bigger problem. The water went straight from the pool to my basement. Here's how it happened. But first, but first, I have to show you something that's really, really dear to my heart and my soul. What's up, bro? What's up, man? It's my dog. What's up, boy? Boy, he is chilling. Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we having a man moment right now. What's up, Don? People. Mmm. I'm trying to hit the camera. He, he almost hit the camera, baby. He did. I seen it. So, guys, this is my son, Jaheem. If you don't know, he was born June 11th. I just wanted to stop the vlog so you guys could see what he's about. Say what's up, man. Say what's up, bro. Get that kid. All right, guys, back to the vlog. What you're about to see can and will be disturbing. It's nasty down there. Dead bugs, dead, you know, nasty dirt from the outside of, from what the swimming pool brought in. All right, guys, so there's a swimming pool, right? This is the basement. I deflated the swimming pool to the basement. Nasty, so that's the window I was telling you about. And see those two sockets? Those are the sockets that was, the water was coming down. And yeah, it was running on that. And look at this nastiness that it created. Ugh. And the thickness of these shoes, I believe, save my life I could be wrong though I could be overthinking it um, but I know for a fact I never wear shoes going to the basement because our basement is always clean it's just what you just saw was from the water coming in from the outside and bringing everything with it but uh, I never wear shoes so I think it was the I think it was God who was protecting me um, these are one of the things that you really have to pay attention to um, I didn't think the water was going to come in and rush in like that. Um, I wasn't thinking when I went downstairs, stepped in the water while the electricity, while the, you know, water was running over two sockets, not just one, but two, 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 two sockets. And with these shoes, brand new shoes, I had enough separation from the ground. The whole house went, was a, uh, the whole house shut down the electricity shut down um i had to go uh, we waited like i think we waited for like an hour or two um my wife was pissed off at me guys <laughs> she was really pissed off at me we waited like an hour or two before because we wanted to um make sure the socket was kind of dry i unplugged i went back downstairs i was scared guys y'all should have seen me i went back downstairs and i unplugged everything from where the water was coming down and uh, the, the wash and dryer, I unplugged the wash and dryer and we waited. And what I did was I, I cut the uh, basement off and I turned everything back on. So the basement is still cut off right now. So um, through the grace of God, man, I don't know how I didn't get electrocuted. I was touching metal, 
Um, I think God has something to do with that, but we can't take life for granted. That's what I want to really get to. You can't take life for granted because things like this, it happens all the time. And I, I believe God spared my life. Um, some people may laugh at this and be like, man, what are you talking about? I believe I was at a near death experience and didn't even realize it. So that's my story. Let's see what my wife got to say about it. It was just weird. I had ran to the store to go get some things and I'm on my way back. And I mean, like literally not even a minute after I pulled off the light, he called me, right? And when he told me what happened, I'm like, okay. And then he told me all the lights in the house went off. I'm like, oh God, I'm hoping this ain't no, nothing ain't wrong, but we need an electrician and we gotta spend a whole bunch of money because right now I ain't got it. It was just, I was By the just, way, we did call an electrician, but um, we waited like an hour before we cut the, turn the, uh, the breaker back on. But she was mad at me, y'all. I yo. was mad at him. I'm like, really? You ain't paying attention to what you was doing? I don't know, but. But who would think that Something outside in the, in the backyard will cause such a catastrophe in the basement. I was not thinking that. But I feel bad too because I kind of saw that and. To my when we was blowing up the pool. Yeah, like I see, and I, the hole kind of came to my mind, and I kind of didn't really say much about it. But I didn't think he was gonna go ahead and deflate it so soon either. So. I just, it, it's a lot, but luckily everything worked out. We don't have to worry about no super repairs, as far as I know, so. Things are seem to be working smoothly, nothing shortened out. There's no imminent danger, so that's a good thing. So guys, my wife did something amazing today. Oh, she did something. I can't even talk, right? I said something. <laughs> she did something very amazing. She baked lemon brownies guys let me let me show you let me show you all right guys so the moral of today's vlog is always pay attention and if life give you lemons just make lemon brownies yes. um. Mmm. Mmm.